right. They got two of us out here trying That's to hurry right. up. Thank you, sir. <laughs> So today is a very exciting video for me. I was lucky enough to snag one of these jewels and I couldn't be more happy. The um, UV slider. I have not put my hands on one of these yet and right off the bat I can tell you this is feels very very high quality. Um, it's just looking at it in the, the all the attention to detail in my opinion looks very very good so far especially on just the rail and the housing UV3 XLSE housing with uh, the batteries may not be in it oh there they are Super sharp pins for your yardage markers. And I'm not reading any directions because I'm a rebel. So let's just throw this guy in here and uh, see where we're at. See where we're at. So this quick brake system, if I can figure out how to do this with one hand, open. Push in. Got it. Oops. Very seamless operation. Nothing really to put together on this. Of course, we have dual sight tape marks here. One on this side if you want, one on this side if you want. Um, just go ahead and cut this off. UV3XL housing, SE housing, still the same. These look like they have 19,000 pins and a 10,000 uh, bottom pin. Down there, your little, let me get a pointer, your little tack pin down here at the bottom. If you can see that, that looks like it's 10,000. The rest of these look like 19,000. So, um, of course, here's your lock here for you doing your yardage up and down very smooth one lock back you can override it like they say but it is kind of hard to turn which is probably not the best thing for overtime because of course you can override it but it's you're going to wear something out eventually if you do it for years and years and years so just one quick movement unlock rotate lock back shoot deer let's see what else we got spare hardware we have uh, extra level some allen wrenches another metal sight tape thingamabobber some extra batteries some extra screws some more indicators This is just a ring if you hunt in a state where lights are not allowed because they're illegal. You can just pop this out, pop this light kit out, this Allen screw right here, and this pops right in. I'm going to show you how to do that just because. So Allen wrench is included. Stick it in the stick it in the old hole here. Just loosen up. These three up these bolts will not come all the way out. Light comes out.
and your replacement for your light kit goes back in. Tighten your screw back up and you're legal in all 50 states. Pretty cool. Put it back in, same thing, just reversed. Loosen it up, unloosen it, loosen it up till it stops. Pull the uh, no light bracket, I guess I'm calling it that, <clears throat> out. Pop your light back in, pop the vis ring back in if it pops out. And tighten her back up. And there you have your back with your lights. Ready to hunt in the darkness. This is a three pin slash four pin. If you want to shoot a single pin or want to change sizes of your pins, whatever you want to do, just loosen this side up and the pins slide out of this side just as easy. And you can change you can change come on you can change the pins out um, and shoot a single pin which I'll probably do that for tack and back to hunting season if you want to shoot a three pin just pop your pins back in Tighten back up, and you're back to a three pin. Pretty freaking slick. All right, we have a goodie bag. Directions, very, very nice directions. that I will not read. QR codes for more instructions if you cannot read. Sight tapes, pile of sight tapes. We have right and left hand sight tapes. So this will accommodate either archer and this also is a nice case to store your sight in in travel. All you would do, pull it out, this is the bridge lock version, pull it out your bridge lock, rotate your sight all the way down, hit your little quick break clip here, turn it down till your gears really, your wheel stops spinning, pop it right off. Back in the case, just like that. All your doodads go back in this zipper part, zip it back up, and you're ready to go. Hard case, very nice. I'm extremely lucky to get one of these. Shout out to you know who you are, and I can't wait to shoot this thing a couple times. It's kind of snotty outside today, so we won't be able to shoot it today, but I will do a sight in video with it, change some things around. <coughs> Excuse me. May put my 10,000 pins in here. Maybe not, because I'm going to change this up anyway for tack and shoot a single pin. But that is a quick unboxing of the UV slider. Um, being I'm not going to shoot this for a while, I'll put it, put these uh, sharp guys back up. And you want them very sharp. Sharp's not a bad thing. The sharper you can get these indicators, the more finite adjustment and um, I guess that's the right word. You can see on your yardage marks. If you got a big pin blob here, like this, say this Allen wrench, a big thick um, indicator, then you could be covering up three or four yards and uh, you really don't know where you're at. But with the sharp indicators, you can definitely know where you're at any time of your um, sight changes, I guess. Also, these green marks here per every 10 yards, 
they were put there on purpose so you can look at them really quick in in the moment and as long as you're in those green marks you are within a yard of those 10 yard increments so you're going to hit within an inch of of uh, that yardage so if i'm hunting and i have a buck come at 50 and i want to shoot i rotate down to five i see my indicators on the green mark i know i'm at 49 or either 51 i'm going to hit right where i'm aiming so that's an awesome feature second and third axis third axis here second and first here first and second axis come preset from the factory but it's not a bad idea to go over it and check it when you mount it on your bow just to be sure nothing got crazy in shipping and the UPS drivers or FedEx were jumping any hills um, but first and second and third right there so very quick easy adjustability windage adjustment here on this knob just give it a good tug out and you have left and right windage adjustments. Make your adjustments, push it back in, and you're good to go. Easy as that. Out, in. But that is about it for this. We're going to bolt it up to the bow in a later date, maybe tomorrow, and get to shooting this thing and get it sighted in. I'm excited. And that is my quick review of the UV slider. Thank you for watching. Once again, I cannot wait to shoot this thing. So if you want to see it, if you're interested in it, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good jazz, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.